Big problems, everybody. Okay. And we're not alone in this. There's others who are dealing it with it. But here in Northeast Ohio, we are bracing for this big weather event as it's going to be unfolding. And ODOT is also making sure they have everything they need in order. They're sharing some helpful tips with drivers who will need to hit the road anyway. Brandon Simmons has an update now on the preparations that they are making. Now, one thing for certain, when this winter storm hits our area, the roads won't be nearly as clean as what we're seeing right now, no matter how many snow plows are out on the road come Wednesday. ODOT workers wrapped up a call with the National Weather Service this afternoon and were told to prepare for icy conditions at times, followed by a lot of snow similar to what we saw around Martin Luther King Day, although snow could be falling for a longer period of time than it was then. They plan to keep the typical 300 plows on the roads across Northeast Ohio with workers on extended shifts. Now today, mechanics have been working to make sure all equipment is operational, but because this snowfall could continue into Friday, there are also some highway technicians taking days off to get ready. I have heard of some of our highway technicians taking days off just to get rested up because they know they're gonna be going on those 12 hour shifts for probably the rest of the week, starting maybe Tuesday evening as the precipitation is expected to begin on Wednesday sometime. We're also reminded that during snowstorms, ODOT's goal is to keep roads passable, not spotless. So there's a good chance you could only see a path of tire tracks in some areas, or not every lane is completely open. That's normal considering the number of roads they have to cover as the snow is falling. And remember, if you do have to go out, be sure to check the OGO app where you can look at live traffic cameras, check the road conditions for the place where you're headed. And of course, if you don't have to, don't go at all. I'm Brandon Simmons, 3 News. All right, that's probably the best advice. Brandon, thank you.